Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Kristen. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2019 continuing. We have a lot of reviews to get through, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so look, we've got literally 10 haunts we've been to. We're doing those reviews now. And we have one more we might be going to. So we're going to be doing these one per day, probably well into early November. So if you're enjoying these, good news, you got a lot of Garbage Horror reviews coming your way. Yeah. But that being said, today we have the first haunt we did on our trip to Houston. Right. Fright Trail in Lafayette, Louisiana. Now you may remember that we've been here before back mm -hmm. in 2016. Yes. And we liked them, but we had a couple of suggestions. Yes. The main thing we were focusing on then was there was an issue where people would leave one of the rooms or buildings on the trail, mm -hmm. see the next one, and just bolt right to it. And we, as two relatively slow walkers through a trail, yeah. I'm not running through no woods. No. Um, we nearly got like run over, like like the coyote and road runner run over. <laughs> right. But this year was much better. Yeah. They've uh, they, mitigated some of those issues. <clears throat> I mean, they actually implemented a lot of them. <clears throat> We said they needed to narrow the trails, add more ziggy zags, yeah. things to discourage that kind of bolting. Right. They did that. And yes, we still got passed by groups that were going through far more quickly than we were, <laughs> but they did not nearly kill us. Right. Success. Yes. Um, instead, I think the biggest um, complaint I had this year was every, because once again, Fright Trail is kind of a weird haunt in mm -hmm. that there's a portion of it, like the very, we buy your tickets in the ticket booth and all that, right. is on one side of this highway and the actual queue line in the haunt is on the other. Right. Now, I don't see a way for them to fix that, so there's not much that we can yeah. suggest to fix it. Sorry. Now, I'm not saying necessarily fix that, but the, the side with the ticket booth was pretty wonky. There was a lot of confusion about where to go. Mm -hmm. We had to keep directing people to go to the metal detector. And right. I don't like metal detectors at haunts for a whole slew of reasons. It doesn't yeah. really help with security. I'm sorry. Um, also, buying a ticket online didn't make a lot of sense other than it was the only way we could do it with debit card. Right. Because you still have to go to the ticket booth. You still have to get the physical ticket. It actually slows you down in right. buying the ticket, <laughs> which is kind of weird. It is. And, and then you go through and you stand in this uh, gravel pit, basically. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that this year we got there um, early, early right before for they opened, opening. Early for, mm -hmm. for opening. And if you do that, at least the night we were there, and I suspect other nights, yeah. the cast does a thing. I'm trying not to spoil it. Right. Don't want to ruin it, but the whole cast comes out, they do a thing. It's, a, it's actually pretty fun, and it does set the scene and set the mood pretty well. It does. So kudos on that. Mm -hmm. But then they let you across the street into what is probably my favorite queue line anywhere it's kind of weird you go from one of my least favorite queuing experiences <laughs> to my absolute favorite because the queue line might as well be another attraction as far as i'm concerned yeah yeah it could be a small one um you go through several scenes and there are actors that interact with you along yeah. the way i love the uh punny sleight of handy sideshowy zombie character right um they had he was a lot of fun they also had some scare actors and other things going on mm -hmm. there's photo op areas videos I mean, we didn't really wait that long in this queue line, but no. it, it's, a, it's a place where waiting would not be that bad. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's stuff to look at and do. But eventually, you know, we got up to the front, we got to go in, and yeah, Fright Trail that definitely made a lot of improvements in mm -hmm. the last few years since we've been there. Yeah. They've added new scenes, they've added a lot of new stuff, and like I said, they made the adjustments to the trail. The animatronics are still a bit wonky with the timing as I was leading most of the time. Mm -hmm. So I constantly had to fall back to see it because they were timed to hit the middle of the group, which makes sense. But the problem with that is, of course, me, the animatronics happening behind me. Right. Which is frustrating. That is. Um, but no, once again, it was, I mean, it was a very solid, very fun haunt experience. You definitely get your money's worth in terms of the time you spend mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Um, as long as you don't run through the goddamn <laughs> thing, you know yeah. who you are. Yeah, and they're, um, it felt like they had plenty of actors. Yeah. Um, felt well-staffed. Yeah. Um, all in all, it was actually just a very all-around solid experience. I don't really have anything, you know, too too, uh, too sad or too happy. Too happy. I mean, a lot of happy things. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Nothing, like, really leaps out at me as something I need to point out about it other than it's a good trail haunt. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that's really it. Mm -hmm. Um and do wish they would work on some of the intake, especially in providing better signage and better directions and get rid of the metal detector. Right. Um, 
But a lot of haunts are going to the metal detector now. A lot of haunts are getting rid of them, too. 13th Gate got rid of theirs. Yeah. Well, they at least had it off. So. You know, just saying. A lot of haunts yeah. are getting rid of them, too. So, yeah. something to think about. But anyways, it was a solid experience. I had a great time. I don't have any major suggestions or anything to add to it. Mm -mm. So, all I'm saying is if you're in the area and you haven't gone yet, definitely go. It is worth the money. It is worth the time. Um, and check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I know this is going to be one of the briefer reviews, but I think it's really kind of the crux of it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You should go. You should good. You should go. Um, this was a great way for us to start off the trip. Yeah. We, put us in a, we were in a very good mood when we left. Yeah, so there was a chill in the night air and, for the first time. And yeah, it was a chilly-ish night, like you said, and we were getting mm -hmm. ready to go to a new haunt, which we will review next time. Ooh, I can cast shadows on my face. Um, <laughs> so, anything else to add? No. All right. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Halt Review 2019 for Fright Trail in Lafayette, Louisiana. We will see you guys 